and and their concern is being met by tropes. Well, you're a fascist. You're uh, you're hard right. You're mm-hmm. there's no engagement. I see the establishment parties now changing the rhetoric in the run up to the general election so that they seem to be deemed to be seen to be doing something about it and uh, going after the soft rebel vote around their traditional. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you think people will fall for that? Or, or, or do you think that there are, there are there are sufficient heat in it now to drive more people like you into the dog? Well, I hope that people don't fall for it because they should understand that this is just rhetoric come up to the election. The same as next week's budget will be an, an attempt to buy them off and just pile money into the economy and everybody will get something and people then will somehow go and vote for the return of the clowns that's there. But in order to get, to get to where we want to get, we need to remove the whole establishment. We nearly need to go back to basis and recreate this state from the beginning because it's not just the politicians, it's the whole higher eloquence of the um, civil service, mm. the permanent government. It's so the whole you, NGO sector. It's so, you, the whole, so you're suggesting that the First Republic is a failure then, that we need a Second Republic? Well, no, this is the Second Republic. This is the Republic of Ireland. This is not the First Republic. Okay, the First okay. Republic was defeated in 1922. Okay, no, you're correct. You're so, correct to draw me up on that. Yeah, correct. So we need to go back to the Republic. But the Republic we have at the moment... Has failed. It's failed, yeah. Okay. Utterly. And the Republic of 1916, ratified by the people in 1918, mm. and the first all that met, that was succeeding. Mm. I mean, it went to war with the British, with the biggest military arsenal in the world mm. against the, the, the British. And we succeeded. And you know, then do you, do you take out of the night, like in the nineteen twenty two constitution, there was um, a very important clause uh, whereby the people themselves, uh, if the sufficient number of people came together, could actually have a referendum on whatever <coughs> matter was of concern to them. That then was removed. As I was, yeah, that was a remo- Yeah, <coughs> that was removed against that because it was a, it was a potential threat to the way the the doll was run. Exactly. Would you see that as being an instrument? Well, that, I think that that, uh, that should come back in. We will need to bring in a new constitution now. Whether we go back in totality to the twenty twenty two or the nineteen twenty two constitution, mm. it, you know, is a matter for discussion. Mm. Um, but certainly, there sh- has to be something like that. And there's nothing to stop the state bringing in something like that now. But mm. you know, they'd rather run these dodgy referendums that don't actually do anything. You know, mm. and that they they continue to be defeated on. And you know, people ask us. What have we achieved since November 2022? Mm. We've defeated the government in two referendums. Mm. We've up to a dozen councillors around the country. We've got rid of Leo Varadkar. Do you think Leo's? <clears throat> are you, do you think that Leo Varadkar's resignation was linked to the to the failure of the uh, of the uh, of the referendum mm. on the constitution on the on the eighth of March last? No, I think Leo Varadkar has gone because the, the international class. That he collaborates with decided he was to go and that there was too much uh, perhaps stuff to come out about him that mightn't have been helpful and mm. i'd rather put in an idiot because i think for radker it's actually if, if you look at him before he became t-shock you know he did when he set out in politics have seemed to have a set of principles that just seemed to get abandoned mm. when he went into, into government mm. um and perhaps he was reverting to that. Now, I don't suspect he was really, you know, and he was dumbing down on uh, continuing to allow immigration, which is the biggest problem. But we need to remove, and we need to, at the very start, at least start discussing our relationship with Europe. Mm-hmm. And hopefully, in my view, that should lead to an exit, certainly from the federal um, part of Europe. And, you know, we, we need to go back to just the European common market, mm. which is what we went went into in the beginning. 